Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we will be studying chapter number 9, decimal fraction, problem set number 42. We will be completing in today's video. So in this video, we will study how to subtract a decimal fraction. Now it is as similar as we subtract the normal numbers. Similarly, we have to solve the decimal fractions and subtract it. Okay, so let's solve the example so that it will be more clear. So suppose a number is the only thing that you all have to remember is placing the decimal point just below each other. So if the number is in this pattern, that means you all have to place it just below each other. That is 25.74 and 13.42 and subtract it. Okay, so in this way, you all have to arrange it numbers below number, decimal point below decimal point. Okay, so that the decimal point will exactly come below over here only. 4 minus 2 is going to be 2, 7 minus 4 will be 3, 5 minus 3 will be 2, 2 minus 1 will be 1. Okay, so this was the first sum. Second sum you will see the numbers are different like 3 digit numbers and 2 digit numbers are to be subtracted. Now similar 3 digits over here, 3 digits over here, 2 digit over here, 2 digits over here. So it is going to be easy for us to subtract. Okay. So 168.22. 5 minus 2, 3. 3 minus 2, 1 decimal point. Now 16 cannot be subtract, 6 cannot be subtracted with 8. Therefore we have to write 16 over here. So 16 minus 8 will be 8. Okay. Now 1 we have borrowed from 0. That means it is going to be 9. Alright. So 9 minus 6 is going to be 3. And 0, there was no value for 0 over here. Therefore, what we have taken, we have borrowed this 9 value from 2. So, it is going to be 1. So, this is B0. I hope this is clear to everyone. Many of you all make mistakes over here because of 0. Because 0's value was not there, therefore, we have borrowed this 9 from this number. Okay, that means 1 we have borrowed from the third digit. Therefore, it is to be reduced. All right. I hope it is clear to everyone now. And now let's move on to the third sum. 63.4 minus 31.8. So 63.4 and 31 minus 8. Again, 4 will not be subtracted. Therefore, it will be 14. 1 we have borrowed from here. So this will be 2. All right, now we can easily subtract it after 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So this is going to be 6. 2 minus 1 will be 1. 6 minus 3 is going to be 3. It is very easy. The whole uh, thing is you all have to place the decimal points properly. 63.43 minus 31.8. Now over here two digits and over here one digit is there so as we have done for addition same method we have to do wherever there is no number we have to put a zero okay so three four will not be subtracted so this will become 14 one we have borrowed borrow, borrowed from three so it will be two now after eight count till 14 answer will be six we have just now done it 2 minus 1, 1. 6 minus 3, 3. Isn't it easy to solve children? So in this way, you all have to solve the problem sum. Uh, sorry, the sum, subtraction sums. After this, there is a problem sum also which we have to solve. There is only one problem sum. So, But before that, we will solve all the numbers. Next is 63.4 minus 31.83. Now over here, two digits. Two digits but two digits and one digit. So again, put a zero to balance it, 31.83. So this will become 10. One we have borrowed from your three. Three minus eight will not be done. So one we have borrowed from this three. So it will become two. Decimal point, 10 minus three, seven, 13, count, 13 from 8 9 10 11 12 13 so it is going to be 5 2 minus 1 1 6 minus 3 3 
Sixth sum is 8.23 minus 5.45. So 8.23, 5.45. Subtract it. This will become 13. One we have borrowed from here. So this will become 11. This will become 7. Okay. So first you all can do the cutting and borrowing. And then you all have to subtract it. So after 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Answer is 8. After 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So 7. Decimal point. After 5, 6 and 7. So 2. Okay. I think subtraction everyone knows. Therefore, I am not explaining you all how to subtract it. I am just explaining you all how to arrange the numbers. And borrow. Now 9 will come below 8. Okay. And 45. Wherever there is no number, we will add a 0. So this will become 13. This will become 11. 1 we have borrowed from 8. So this will become 7. 7 again will not be subtracted. So this 17. Ho jayega. This will become 0. So up after 5, count till 13. It will be 8. After 4, count till 11. It will be 7. Okay, now 17 is there. So after 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. So answer is 8. And 0 minus 0 is going to be 0. 8th sum is 78.03 minus 41.65. So 78.03, 41.65. This will become 13, 9, 7. Okay. After 5, count till 13. It will be 8. After 6, count till 9. The answer will be 3. 7 minus 1, 6. 7 minus 4, 3. Alright. So, in this way, your question number 1 is over. Now, moving on to question number 2. As I said, a problem sum. Only one problem sum has been given over here. So, Brinda was 1.48 meter tall. After a year, her height became 1.53 meters. How many centimeters did her height increase in a year? So, we have to find the difference between the two numbers. Okay. So, first, you all have to write... Brinda was 148 meter. Okay. After one year, her height is 1.53 meters. Now you all have to pay attention to 53. Now you all have to pay attention children over here. This number is big and this one is small. Obviously it has increased so it is going to be bigger. So this is to be placed before 1.53 meter. Pele lagana hai and then 1.48 meter. Alright. So up simple subtraction just I have explained kara hai. So this will be 13. This will be 4. Okay. Meter ko meter after 8. Count till 13. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So answer is going to be 5. 4 minus 4, 0. 1 minus 1, 0. So the height it has increased how much? Meter? 0 0.05 meter. So this answer is in meter. Now we wanted, the question is asked, how many centimeter did her height increase in a year? Centimeter they have asked. Okay. So you have to see 1 meter is equal to 100 centimeter. Alright. So up 100 centimeter hai. That means this, this is to be changed into centimeters. Alright. So isko change karna hai. And then we have to write the concluding answer. So 1 meter is equal to 100 centimeter but over here already it is being given in this way all right so what you all have to do is divide it, divide meter and then you will be getting the answer okay so over here 0 0.05 divided with 100 so the answer is going to be 5 centimeter okay now conclude the answer Vrinda 
height has increased by 5 cm. Over here I had written the spelling wrong. Okay. So in this way your exercise number 42 is completed while solving. If you all are finding anything difficult do let me know in the comment section. See you in the next video. Till then take care. Bye.